to What You See Before You Hear. I'm Matt. And I'm CD. Today we're going to be going over Lil Yachty's recent project. It's a compilation uh, tape. It's called Michigan Boy Boat. It features a lot of artists from Michigan, like uh, places like Detroit and Flint, for all I, from what I'm familiar with. Um, there's a lot of artists on here that literally just started popping off out of Detroit. If y'all, like, if y'all don't know... Really, Yachty ahead of the game, and he been ahead of the game for probably like two years now. He really put yeah. uh, like Detroit on. I mean, Detroit doing it itself. I'm not saying that. I'm not gonna like discredit yeah. those guys. That's what he wants to do, though. Yeah, That's but what he, he said to, he wants to like, do. Like Detroit, really. If if it's not right now, uh, 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 uh Memphis running the game. Detroit is like right next. Like yeah. they got some. And they see more deep. Out. Yeah, they crazy. really they really running deep right now. You know what I'm saying? From Baby Smooth, uh, like all them folks. Baby, Baby Face, Face Ray, Ray like, PZ's on yeah. the tape. Uh, free Free Rio, Rio on there. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Louis Ray is on there. Um, got, uh, 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 T Grizzly. On T Grizzly, there. yeah. Let's not forget about that. Yeah. Um, he got everybody from that area. From that's, that area that's blowing up right now on the tape. For real. And it's fine. Like he, These. He, yeah, he messing with the whole Detroit area. Like, don't be surprised. Because I, honestly, I feel like, man, we talking about the day, talking about it the other day, a lot of people's not on the Detroit not, wave yet. Like, they haven't really caught it yet. And the fact that we even know about yeah, it. facts. And when you said, wave, you said it's two years ago, I had to think about it. I was like, okay, he been really, uh, he been saying that he was going to drop that Detroit to the A. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think this is that tape. Yeah, facts. I think this is that tape. So you definitely right. And me and T D we've been listening to that baby face Ray. Yeah. He's goes dumb hard. Was this on my, my neck the whole time? I don't know. Yeah. I think it was, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> baby face Ray, we've been listening to him. Baby smooth. I've been listening to all the Ray. Uh what's his name? Um uh, what's the other dude's name? Yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot about him. Right now. YFNJ. YFNJ yeah, yeah. 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 Speaking of him, he got a lot of energy, uh energy beats. I think that's yeah, the name. Energy you know, beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy beats. Them shits be slapping, That's why I was over here doing this right For here. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the beat go with the sound, too. That's the crazy shit about a lot of them Michigan artists. Like, yeah. the beat definitely go with the sound. Yeah, the yeah. only thing I think Yachty dropped the ball on, he could have included one female artist. Like, one female yeah. artist. Like, I don't even care if they don't rap the same style. Like, he could have easily got Cash Dog. She would have been the ideal fit. Yeah. But he could have got Dej Lo. That yeah, would have been crazy. Have, yeah, yeah. Uh, Molly Brazy's one. Yeah. I was even surprised because I had to look up. They have an artist, Lakia, on um, QC. QC. Yeah. But she's from Milwaukee. But she did a song with 42 Doug that took off earlier this year. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing. Doug ain't, is Doug on the tape? I don't think Doug He's not. Say, yeah. So if anything, I think Yachty but really think, curated think, it the he, way he yeah, wanted to. I think he messing with like everybody that's very independent and underground right now because... I think at the end of the day, like we hearing a lot of these artists, they're very still underground right now. Yeah, like, they still a part of that underground wave. A lot of them haven't blew mainstream yet, you know. So I mean, people blowing up on TikTok and stuff like that, but we haven't caught that mainstream wave of yeah. Detroit. But like, you know, Forty Two Doug and T Grizzly, those those guys. But these are the new young people that are coming up right yeah, now, and facts, they're coming facts. up as a collective. Yeah, yeah, but then but the music on the tape, like I, I like the tape, like I, I kind of like this Yachty. Yeah, I do. I, I, I like him because he, I, yeah, because I feel like he always been having a chip on his shoulder that people like Yachty can't rap, Yachty can't do this, but he was actually spitting on the tape. You know, mm-hmm. he had some box on there. He, you know, he giving a couple bars out. You know, he he messing with the Detroit flow. Um, I kind of like, I like the tape. The I like the first good. song, that final form he came in. That shit was hard. Yeah, as final fuck. form was hard. I like GI uh, Joe. Yup. Yeah, uh, um, fi- what is it? Fight night round three. That shit hard. Uh, that one. Sway Lee. That was, oh that's yeah, a, yeah. That was that's a, a, that's a, a, I don't do song. coke. I yeah, think that's, that's yeah. That's why. Uh, that one song he got a lot of flack for because he made that make a wish bar on there, and people kind of thought it was like offensive. Oh, um, I think the song yeah. is "Don't Even Bother." I yeah, think that's what it's called. Yeah. And he got bars. Like, he just... The bars on this is insane. But me personally, and I think the audience will know, it's kind of repetitive. Like, it after is. a while. But if you're not familiar with Detroit sound, you're going to eat this up. Yeah, you're going to yeah, eat yeah. it up. Exactly. But with, with me, I've, I've heard a lot of these artists. Uh, we've and been I've, listening. I've yeah. heard other people from other regions rapping on these beats, yeah. rapping the same way. So it's like... It's just a matter of time before this wave. A lot of people start trying to, like, clone it and shit. Like, it I is. Think so. it's I, happen, I, I think it's going to be like... A, a spread of just how the, the Migos was when they first dropped. I feel, that's why I say I feel like yeah. 
Detroit really haven't went right. mainstream just yet. I just noticed y'all. We didn't even the music. We've been listening to the music so much. We ain't even talk about the cover. cover. Yeah, we can get into the cover. The cover. We didn't talk about the cover. Uh, the dude who did the cover, y'all, y'all probably heard of him before. It's Mahel. Um, he does all of Yachty's stuff, so y'all can look him up. He he's done all of. From what I know, he's done the majority of them. The one thing that stood out about the cover is it had Dogecoin and Bitcoin on it. Yeah, I don't know if a lot of people that noticed dope. that. He big on the crypto. He big yeah, yeah, on it. He yeah. Big he big on, on it. He got his own coin too, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So I like that. Another thing I like, I like how he had like the little description of him like running, uh, like like I'm from Mableton, Georgia. Yeah. That that little description he had on there, I really like that. You know, like it was a lot going on incorporated, and it's not. Yachty usually don't have a style like this when Mahel and him work. Like, so I was very surprised that it was like drawn and illustrated. Mm-hmm. So yeah. well, it was very well put together. The cover art was yeah, very it. dope. It reminded me of like a trading card for some reason. Like it that's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Like a tra- like an old school trading card. Yeah, that's like probably tops or something. This I feel like this would probably go crazy on NFT. Yeah, it it would go it would go this, crazy this on cover NFT. Would go crazy on NFT. It would be crazy if you take all the things like he take the Ferrari NFT it. He take him as a running back, NFT it. He got a picture yeah. of him in the studio. If yeah. anything, roll out every single individual as a trading card. Yeah. But you saying that, you're right. Especially with the Bitcoin on there. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of that. Like, um, we'll probably be going into more talk about NFTs, but... Yeah, that, that's later that's on. That's a great point TD made. Like, yeah. But yeah, man, I think yeah, the tape in general, the music was great. The cup art was great. So, it was a good tape in, the, in general. In yeah. Life. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all, uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know what y'all like about the album, what y'all want us to review next, and we out.